Peace and the blessings, family. Welcome back to Lunar Honora Podcast. Now, I know some of you are like, man, this ain't even really a podcast anymore because you never really be posting. When was the last time you posted on a podcast? Yeah, you know, I know, I know, I know, y'all got me. That's why I wanted to start this series, or really why I wanted to start this segment of my life titled Inner Fear. Because a lot of us have inner fears that are interfering with us living the lives that we want to live, living the lives that God promised us, doing the things that we want to do, being who we were made to be. Because we have a lot of inner fears. And this is something that is near and dear to me because I struggle with it on a day to day basis. And I feel as if God is helping me overcome that. And at least He has to an extent to where I feel like I'm finally able to share my, my process, my journeys what i've done to um you know get halfway up not even halfway you know start taking some steps a lot of us you know we're afraid to take those steps but by the grace and mercy of god i've been blessed to take some steps and make some kind of progress so i feel as if i should help us um especially those who are like me who deal and battle with mental barriers every single day you know the anxieties the doubts um the lack of self-discipline the whole nine because this in this information age where there's information everywhere where you can google something in the top of a dime you can go on tiktok learn how to do how to bake a pizza in less than 60 seconds whatever you want to learn to do you can do that in this information age but not enough of us are applying that information and it's evident in our state of our mental health the state of our minds the state of our lives, what we are doing on a day-to-day basis, um, and what's honestly what we see outside every single day. We're not applying the information. We're just attaining it, which is not good and no good. So this series, again, we are delving, in, we are delving into the inner fears. And I say inner fears because, you know, an external fear is one thing, you know, being afraid of heights being afraid of crashing, um, losing money, um, whatever your external fear is, bears, tigers, lions, cats, whatever it is, you know, being afraid of external things, that's valid. That makes sense. But a lot of us are held back by the fears that exist in here. We don't talk about them enough, in my humble opinion, the anxieties, the doubts, the irrational fears, the fears that we make up in our mind as a result of something that we, that happened to us in the past, that maybe should not have happened but because that happened you have a non-realistic perception of a situation or reality that causes you to have a fear of a such reality or a result and it's just you your mind is all jumbled up and our minds are jumbled up and we allow these fears that exist in our heads to stop us from doing the things that you know we feel as if we're being called to do and i really just want to touch on that i really don't have any direction or how I'm going to do it, that, how this series is going to go. Um, I really just am tired, honestly, of trying to have everything all laid out before I do stuff. And that's one of my inner fears or what the one of my barriers is feeling, feeling as if I need everything laid out before I do it. And I've never been that kind of person. Like, really, I've always been, you know, impulsive. I've always felt like as if Allah... Or God moves me to do things, and so I would do them. But I have not been doing that lately. So, um, yeah, this is going to be a God-led or Spirit-led series in which we're going to talk about different aspects, um, inner fears, as it relates to the thoughts about ourselves and how that reflects on to the thoughts of others and how we treat others is a reflection of how we treat ourselves. The people who we attract in our lives is a perfect example of the type of people who we are on the inside not externally what we show to the world but our hearts our spirits and it all boils down to again self business relationships whatever we want in life whatever that is it all boils down to ourselves in that inner mind and allowing the inner fears to be admonished and destroyed so that we can attract and allow God to use us to work through us to get those things that we truly desire out of life. And we have no better example of 
an individual who does that on a consistent and consecutive basis, then the Honorable Minister Louis Farrakhan. And I myself, I've been studying his example and how he in many lectures would bring up how, you know, we are not meant to fear anything as Muslims. Because, you know, I'm, the Mama Missile Sparkon is my teacher, if you were not aware of that. And by now, you should know that because you're listening to this podcast and you're, you're on my page. But that man teaches us that we should fear nothing. And actually, you are not a Muslim if you fear anything but God. Because anything that you fear, you make a God besides God. And we don't believe in making gods besides God. You fear one God. But when we have all these fears in our mind, I'm getting... We're interfering with the one fear that we should have, and that's the fear of God. And it's stopping us, it's hindering us from doing the things that he's literally calling on us to do. So, we're no longer talking about it. Um, I'm not quite sure, like, what would you guys want from these kind of talks in this series? Of course I'm going to be talking to people, because I don't know everything. And I don't like to claim that I know everything, because I don't. I'm on this journey, like I said, with you all. But um, I'm just really finally able to, you know, jumble up what my past experiences have been, like why God put me through what he put me through and why he's allowed for me to get to where I am today. And it's because I'm meant to share this information. I'm meant to do something with it. And I'm meant to reach an impact. The people who I'm meant to reach an impact, and it's time that I do that. So let me know what you guys like to see. Games. Of course, we're going to do interviews. Um, of course, I'm going to share tips, tricks. We're going to break down lectures of the Honorable Missile Spark and other clips that I've seen on the internet, you know, break down that information, what I may think of it, what God may think of it, what's in the Bible, what's in the Holy Quran. We're just going to take scripture, not just scripture because I'm still, you know, coming acquainted with scripture. We're going to take information and try to uh, give solid answers as to why we are the way that we are and why we think and in doing so, that will us, allow for us to, you know, rid ourselves, God willing, of those inner fears so that we can unlock different versions of ourselves so that we can evolve and do the things that we know that is on our heart that we are meant to do and or be. So, yeah, don't let me know what you guys want, what we should talk about, what you may have be, what you struggle with mentally. Um, let me know because I know we all go through something. A lot of us are going through the same things. But uh, yeah, let's talk about it. Let's go. I'm excited. I'm looking forward to the series. And yeah, catch you guys next week. I might do like two uploads a week, one. I don't know, but I'm forcing myself to be consistent with this because one of my interviewers is self discipline. Um, so yeah, we doing it. We getting it done. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you guys always for watching. Catch you guys in the next video. Let's work.